Hey, what's that, Sinny? I can't hear you over how fucking great this episode is. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 7 of Supernatural Season 5, The Curious Case of Dean Winchester. I knew going into this, I knew it was funny. I knew that there were some good jokes about old Dean. I forgot, one, how much effort Robert Singer actually puts into this episode. He does good blocking, he does good character development, he does great story progression. He's basically not being lazy, as he would be later on in the show. And two, I forgot how much I like this guy. The instant that the witch, the Irish guy who appears, the one who is able to put these magic spells on chips and basically play with people's lives in terms of uh, years, but he's not a villain, he's an anti-villain. If anything, he's just this kind of force that lets people play chance. He doesn't take sides, except maybe sometimes in the means of helping someone. Chaotic neutral, I say, is probably the best description for this character, and he's so good. Is he butchering an Irish accent? I can't really tell, I can't judge. I've heard that it's good in some places and good and bad in others, but I really like this character. I like him so much that I would almost say he's one of my favorite one-off characters in Supernatural history. I'm a sucker for poker scenes and just poker storylines, whether it be movies or television shows. This whole episode is just so good. We have a guy die at the beginning because he chose the wrong cup or chose poker. Dean and Sam come to this town after Bobby's request to find out what's going on with people either going missing or people dying very oddly of old age when they're only in their 20s. And eventually they find out that there is this Irish witch who is doing these card games. And Bobby, because he's just so depressed and so hell-bent on trying to be useful again because of his paralysis, he goes and plays and loses. Dean then tries to play back for Bobby's years. He's able to return Bobby to his normal state, but he becomes old. And the actor who plays old Dean is pretty good. Not every single mannerism is exactly to match, but hell, it's still way, way better than when Rick Springfield took on Lucifer in season 13. That was a terrible, terrible, was it season 13? I don't know, he's just a terrible fucking character and a terrible fucking actor, really. But there are quite a few mannerisms and speeches that this old, this guy got. And what I found out was actually really sad is he died three years after this episode aired. That was a kind of unfortunate. I didn't even know that he had passed away. He gets the dude right. He has these good jokes with Sam and he has some really good jokes with Dean or with Bobby. The old man banter back and forth is so good. Like all of it is really well done. While the brothers are trying to work back to getting the years back from the witch, whether it be from stealing the chips, which mean nothing, are just trying to do a reverse spell which is supplied to them by the witch's partner who will find out later on what she her real motives are i like how bobby is just this he feels useless and we can all have had those kind of feelings whenever we've had injuries or whenever we've had something ill happen to us and especially in someone in his situation that reflects on many people who have gone through life-changing injuries. I thought that Jim Beaver did a fantastic job of delivering it. The script written by Sarah Gamble was really well done. This is one of her best scripts for a one-off episode. There's a reason why Sarah Gamble was such an integral person in the creative process of this show. And it made sense that she got to be showrunner. It's just unfortunate that how things went for season six and season seven but she's definitely bringing her a game in terms of the writing for this episode because while this as i said is technically speaking a humorous one-off filler episode there's so much character development and respectful dialogue and conversation back and forth between the brothers and bobby especially at the end of the episode after they beat the witch in the card game, which that's also a really well done scene. Bobby and and Dean have this heart to heart. Dean says, you're not useless, Bobby. You, you're not. Just because you're going through this doesn't mean you're not useless to us. And the, the sigh that Beaver gives at the end just before he leaves the room, oh, so much heartfelt. And then speaking of heartfelt emotion, as I've stated earlier, I really like the witch character, but I also really like his partner who's played by uh, Pascal, 
I've worked with this lady on several occasions. I've worked with her mainly on the Wedding Bride, uh, the, the Wedding Planner, or whatever, the Perfect Bride 2. Yeah, that was it. Perfect Bride 2, Wedding Bells. And then also I've been on the set of When Calls the Heart, which is this apparently incredibly popular Hallmark show. If you guys look up the numbers, it's up there. It's up there with Walking Dead. I'm not fucking kidding. I can't believe it. A show about some weird rural Canadian town is so damn popular in the lower US states, I, I don't get it. Anyway, she's the partner of the witch, but because she's lived so long, she's seen her kids die, she doesn't want to be alive anymore. She's lived her life, she just can't continue on. And that scene at the end where he has to literally give all those years to her and have her age, all of the benefits and one that he gave her is all bestowed in those chips. As we've seen, we've seen like small piles represent 25 years and both of their piles are massive, kind of reflecting again on how long they've been alive for. And I liked it, it was a really heartfelt moment. Very rarely do we ever see a character, one, like this, and two, rarely ever, if that, do we ever see them, one, not be killed by the Winchesters, but also have this kind of unfortunate ending this really kind of full circle ending really surprised i never brought this character back in any capacity considering the actor who played him kind of okay successful in terms of television programming but not like oh my god so yeah i really like this episode i love the humor in it i liked who played old dean i like the witch i like his partner I like the dynamic with Bobby. I like how, while this is a filler episode, there's still enough of development and uh, important dialogue with the main characters to forward the narrative, not outwardly towards the whole fighting Lucifer thing, but inwardly, just in terms of the development and relationship with the brothers and Bobby. So, I've been fighting this in my head the whole time I've been doing this review, but I'm gonna give The Curious Case of Dean Winchester a seven out of seven. I like this episode that much. It's that good. No joke, no joke. I actually was genuinely surprised watching this episode. I was trying to find problems in it. If anything, maybe the whole toothpick change might have been it, but and then I remember that they cut close on him giving his girl a kiss, so that he's using that as a, essentially a, a distraction so he can hide the, and switch the toothpick because he knows basically he's able to read people, not mentally, but just, you know, he's been around for a long while. He can figure out when people are trying to sip a jip in. So that's my review for A Curious Case of Dean Winchester. What did you guys have to say about this episode? Let's see what you guys had to say. The Curious Case of Dean Winchester has to be one of my favorite comedy episodes in the entire show. The dude who plays older Dean handles Jensen Ackles' physical quirks and mannerisms to the letter. I really love how this episode also showed how much Sam has grown in terms of the character, and at the end of the episode was Sam getting a booster shot always makes me feel uh, makes me smile the two witches also have a really interesting love story and it's always saddening upon rewatching that the male witch has to let go of his lover he has been together with for centuries the real aspect that always gets me teary about this episode is how much bobby has become such an important character to, for the show dean calling out bobby wanting to commit suicide is one of the best moments in the show for me if you watch the episode of the end, you see that Bobby's wheelchair has only one bullet hole in it, which implies that he probably killed himself with everything that happened during the judo-christian apocalypse. Ending on a positive note, I am really here for anybody reading this who has thoughts of suicide. You really do matter. Unless you run the speed of light, then you energy. Uh, but seriously, reply to this comment and you, can, you and I can have a co uh, discussion if you ever feel that you're going through a hard time for anyone who reads this. That's very nice of you, Joe. That is very good. We all should try and take good care of each other, especially with everything that a lot of people went through just in COVID with the isolation and all that. Uh, on the other note, you also point out pretty much everything I liked about this episode, but also good on you for that, Joe. I, uh, uh, I respect you for that. I really like this episode. It's amusing and well acted. When Dean loses to the male witch Patrick at poker, Chat Everett steps into the role to play the aged Dean. Everett does a great job with Dean's mannerisms and way of speaking. His interaction with Bobby is pure comedy gold. Yes, I agree with that. I think Patrick is a really good villain. I, I generally enjoy it when Supernatural has a villain that comes across as a somewhat sympathetic while still remaining a villain. I Overall, I give this episode a 6 out of 7. And that's something that I kind of uh, went back and forth with with watching this episode. Is really Patrick a villain? Yes, technically speaking, he uh, puts people in a position where they can die 
terribly, but he does leave it up to them. He gives them the, the down low of what they have to do and what is at risk. But it's up to them in the general, so that's why I kind of really like the Patrick character, because he also does a lot of nice things in this episode, so I feel that he is chaotic neutral entirely in this episode. The Curious Case of Dean Winchester, one of my favorite Supernatural episodes. It had a perfect blend of serious character development and humor, poking fun at Dean's metamorphosis into a grumpy old man, but also delving seriously into Bobby's frustration with his disability and the dark side of immortality. Also, this is a witch-related episode, and those episodes often annoyed me, as I usually find them to be very filler. This is a very rare exception. Not only is Patrick a good character, but also Patrick's story ends up having a bittersweet resolution. Overall, a really excellent, well-balanced episode. I'm, I'm happy that people are agreeing with me in terms of my thoughts about this episode, because yeah, it's just a generally a really great episode. I couldn't find anything wrong with it, which I think someone's going to make a comment about similar to later on in the comments here. This is a very silly and funny episode. I couldn't stop laughing at old Dean and Bobby's conversations. It, me too. I laugh so many so many times. Uh, the the bitter old man back and forth uh, banter is so well done in this episode. I really enjoy the curious case of Dean Winchester. It's really funny. Jim Beaver did a great job in this episode, and the actor who played the older version of Dean did a great job as him. It's sad that Dean will never have a chance to actually grow old, besides us having this uh, seeing it in this episode. I really love the scene where Dean is digging up the grave, and he and Bobby are arguing like grumpy old men. That was funny. And then I think there's the comment here, this episode deserves a 7 out of 7. I didn't dislike anything about it. Yeah, from the humor in this episode, to the very serious undertones that happen throughout to Bobby's own struggles to Sam kind of taking stepping up to the plate everything about this episode's really good I actually could not find anything wrong with this episode it's just a generally a really good technically speaking filler episode but it still has a lot of elements to the characters in terms of the overall narrative something that supernatural would very much lose in its latter years but very much appreciated here all right guys thank you for your review about that and now we're going to talk about changing channels so leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll read those off in the next review otherwise guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like and if you're interested in more subscribe otherwise see you guys next week Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.